I chose Miss Housen, the Japanese teacher, because she's respectful, she's honest, and she's very empathetic. Called Nelson Mandela. He put his mind to it and he stopped the apartheid. He achieved his goal and made the world a better place, I guess. My dad, because like, he helps me do stuff and teaches us how to do things and stuff like that. Um, my leader is Miss Gemma, my ballet teacher. Well, when we're practicing for exams, she always she supports us and all she wants us to do is do our best. I chose Miss Nicol because she was very approachable, so you could go up to her and have a conversation without getting embarrassed or, yeah, you could just go up to her and she would get people to listen to her without being rude or mean and that's what I liked about her. Um, I selected Miss Schmidt because she taught me for one and a half years and well she makes things fun but and she, when you if you um, try your hardest and you don't do amazing in a test or something she'll still be happy because you try your hardest. Uh, so I'd probably choose my old cricket coach, uh, his name's Wayne. Wayne was just really supportive throughout the season that we had him and he just taught us a lot of skills and um, helped us learn from our mistakes in a really supportive way. I think I would choose Malala Yousafzai because of her, um, how she's promoted not just girls' education but education as a whole and if you educate people it can not just change their lives but it can change the country's life and their economy and then have an amazing flow and effect. I've chose Sally McDonald as my leader because she's a really good role model and she's always looking for the best in you and showing that if you do one good thing that's positive, it'll lead to more positive things. Well, my leader is Steve Smith. He's the um, captain of Australia in cricket. I chose him because he's an encouraging leader, always helping out his teammates. When they, maybe when they've dropped a catch or they haven't done something right, he'll always encourage them to do the right thing next time and never be aggressive to them. He's um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and he used to be the governor of California. He tells all the people in, in the world that he'll be back and he's always right. Well, well, like to um, let everyone out there to be, be kind, be a learner, be safe. Well, it's AF, our principal, because she set a good example and carriage with, with our hard work and she helped with class and teachers and she's kind. Um, I chose my mum as a leader because she is the secretary of the tennis club. She, is, she was the canteen lady for at the Inverloch Soccer Club for four years and now she's secretary president. Um, she's a scout leader for my scout group and she does anything to help at anywhere. Well my leader is my whole family because Everybody works as a team and we all have a role to do. So Greg was my brick lane teacher last year when I'd done Year 12 VCAL. Didn't matter whether you were girl, boy, whether you were older, younger, everyone got treated exactly the same. Anything we had to do or even just personal issues at home, you know, he always said if we ever needed to talk to him, we could talk to him. You know, anything that was going on, he was there to help and support us. Um, it would be my teachers. I dropped out of school and I didn't have any hope whatsoever for anything. With their support and stuff, I started coming more and opening up more. And, and now I've got my year 12, which is amazing. And they didn't even think that was possible. Like, I didn't even think I was going to get my year 10. But I've got, got it all now. And, like, it's just opened up so many doors. Like, my future's just like, I can do anything now. This is my auntie. And the reason I chose her was because... Um, She's in the basketball committee, the swimming committee, the school committee. She runs a dance school and she's very organised with my family and, she, and she's always got something like ready. She, she doesn't yell or anything at us, but... I'm persuasive. She's persuasive, yes. <laughs> She is. <laughs> this is my mum and she's a teacher and a mum and I chose her as a leader because she can balance being a teacher and a mum at the same time and handling a whole grade of kids.
I've chosen the school community and because it's a wonderful, wonderful environment that I really like and other students really like. Leadership's just not about yourself and other people, it's about everyone included. I chose my mum because she helps me with a lot of things, with my homework. She's a good leader because she just listens and she sets a good example for her siblings and people in the school and she just knows the right things to do and say. So I chose a ballerina but my person is Miss Gemma, my ballet teacher. I pick her because she puts all her effort into dancing and she enjoys it as much as she can and she's a really good example for younger kids and yeah role model. Her name is Beth and she she helps out with training on a Wednesday for athletics. She's always there and she goes through every step and yeah you just get better each week. I chose Barack Obama because he's a very loyal person and he was the President of America. He made a few mistakes but he'd always try and figure them out the best way he could. I think he considered everyone's opinions and what they had to say. I chose Dylan Muir, he's my swimming coach and I chose him because he makes learning swimming fun. He's inspirational and is somebody that I can look up to and want to be like. My mum is my leader because she's very organised, you know, I have seven sisters so, you know, that takes a lot of effort to deal with us all. Um, yeah, but she's always, she's there for you when you need her and she's always honest with you and that's a big thing for me, honesty, you know, it always helps me get through what I need to and yeah. I've got lots of people in my life who have been role models, so I couldn't really choose a main one, but Really, the reason I choose to do pretty much anything in my life is my ambitions. Um, so my ambition to go to university, my ambition to work in the police. I do pretty much everything in my life towards these goals. So I've chosen my mum because of how much she's been through and all of the hardships that she's had to take on. I think the traits are just the willingness to keep moving forward and just to keep going on with whatever you do. and to never back down from a fight, you have to just keep going and I think that's what's really inspired me with my mum and what, everything I do 